What you're seeing here is a group of modules put together working as one unit called nested modules. This is the latest feature from Elegant Themes, and this is fantastic. Now, if you don't believe me, I'm just going to drag and drop this over here. Now, you see that everything has been moved together and it has moved as one unit. Now, there's also something very interesting here. What if we want to add a module into the existing nested modules? Well, let's try it out. I'm going to come over here and this time I'm going to choose, let's say this accordion. Now I'm going to drag and drop it in here. Look at that. I've built a custom module with existing modules. Now this is huge. I've been playing around with this the whole night yesterday. And this is one of those updates from Elegant Themes, which is absolutely amazing. All right, so let's build this together and see how this actually works. So I'm going to start from scratch here. I'm going to go ahead and add, let's say my starting point is going to be a heading. I'm going to type in heading and, and add it. Right, so this just works like your normal way of building your sites with uh, Divi. So if I were to go in and add another module, I'll click this plus button here, and let's say this is text. Now, if I do this, these are not together. These are separate, okay? So the new feature now, the way it works is if I select my heading here, I can either right click and say add element. Now, this is the feature that has been added. So this add element here, I'm going to say add element inside. So that means whatever I'm going to add now is going to be inside the heading. So let's say this is text. I'm going to select that. And now this is now grouped. Now I know it's quite difficult to see because it looks like they're separate, but I know they're grouped because when I hover over here, I can see everything is within this black border. But to be sure, 100%, I'm going to select this, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it a background color. So I'm going to come over here and we're going to give it a light gray so we can see there's something going on here. Now, do you notice that the background color now has been applied to both items? This shows that, you know, everything is within uh, this module. And we can see here on the top, it's still heading, although we have the paragraph text. Now let's move on and add a few more things. We're going to come over here to the design tab, spacing, and we're going to give this about, uh, let's go with uh, three rem as a padding so we can, you know, design this in a really nice way. All right, so I'm going to add this 3RM both, I mean, to all the sides. And now this is taking shape. I want to create something that is really custom. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to perhaps add an image. So to keep adding items in here, I can just right click, add element, and then I'm going to say add element inside. So when I do that, now I can search for my image module and select it. And then I can go in and choose my image and upload my image. Fantastic. So I've got my image in here. Now, what else do I need? Perhaps maybe I need some social media icons. Well, I can just go to this one or I can go to the top one. I can go pretty much anywhere I need. All I need to do is to right click, add element, add inside. Now I'm going to search for social. Here we go. And now those are my social media icons. So at this point, you're probably asking, so can I drag them around inside this nested uh, modules? Well, yes. If I come over here, I can drag it and drop it wherever I need. You see? And it works fine. Now, this is very, very interesting. But I'll tell you something that's even more interesting. Nick did not show you a feature which I think makes this even way more powerful. And that is using the loop with this new nested modules. Now, let me show you how that works. So in order for you to choose a loop, you need to select the complete item, which is which starts from the heading. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to come over here to loop. I'm going to activate this. And now I'm going to go in one by one and make sure I select my item. So I'm going to go into my heading first. And you can see it's selected here. I'm going to go to my text. And then I'm going to click here on this little icon to add my dynamic uh, field. So this is going to be my loop post title because this is going to be a post. And you can see straight away it has gone to Hello World because I have a Hello World uh, added in here. Next, I've got my text here. Again, I'm going to go in. And this is going to be my except. And you can see now it has been updated. Next, I'm going to come over here to my image, select that image, 
And then over here, I'm going to make it the loop featured image. Do you see that? So now this is a functioning loop. Now this, I don't need this anymore, so I can always delete that. And I can still go in and add an element inside. And this now is going to be a button. And here it is. So I want that this button here, because this is a, uh, already a loop, I can just select it. And then on my link, button URL, I'm going to go in and this is going to be my post link. I'm going to say apply and save. So this now has turned into something that started off as a basic layout, but now it's a loop. Let's test it out. I'm going to do a quick preview here. And here it is. I can go in and click here. And now it's taking me to my blog post. I mean, how easy was that? This is so powerful that it is unbelievable. Now, if you're someone that's using SiteCrafter framework, in fact, before I talk about SiteCrafter, if you haven't already signed up for Divi University, this is our online community for Divi users, go ahead, it's absolutely free. You can go ahead and sign up by clicking this uh, button here to join for free. And this takes you into our online community. And this community, I mean, we discuss so many things, features, updates, and this is going to be full of information, especially now that we have uh, DV5 in beta. Very, very soon it's going to be public. There's going to be a lot of content here. So the whole of this, the whole idea about uh, the DV community is to have a central place of uh, DV designers. Also, I have a course, this course could definitely help you if you're someone that has already invested in Divi. It's a course that is called Divi 5 Mastery. Already it has 754 students. And when you sign up for this course, I'm going to add so many lessons to this at no extra cost. So I know you may be thinking, well, this must be very expensive. Well, I have a special discount right now. This course is only going for $27 only $27. So when I update all the lessons, you are not going to be paying any extra on this course. $27, get it right now while it's on discount because the normal price is $47. Link to all of that is in the video description below. All right, so let's continue with this. So if you're a, a DV SiteCrafter user and our SiteCrafter framework is a framework, uh, which is a class-based editing system, which ensures that you have flexibility when you're editing. How do we apply this? Well, you're going to be amazed because this is full of features. You know when I select this now? Now, before I talk about SiteCraft, uh, I want to talk about something very interesting. If I select this, notice what happens. If I go to Design, Layout, this has its own layout options, which means I can change the direction. Look at that. Of course, I know it doesn't look very exciting, but you can go in and change the direction, you know? This is really, really amazing. Unbelievable. So it has its own uh, items we can go in here and, and use. If we need to use wrapping, we can go in and do that. But the reason why I'm here is because let's say I want to go in and uh, zero out uh, all these values. You notice now that every time I go in here, there's all these uh, default values. If I zero them out like that, I can literally go in now and start using my framework sizes. So for example, with this button here, I can go to advanced attributes, and then I'm going to add my class attribute here. There we go. And in fact, if I close it and open it again, I'm going to have my values. So for this button here, I want to add a margin top. So I'm just going to say MT and I want to set it as small. You see that? So now I'm using the what? The, the SiteCrafter framework to design my complete website. Now, this is super powerful because at one point I was really panicking that, oh my goodness, does that mean that this feature is going to kill my, my framework? And again, if I come over here, I can go in and customize this, give it uh, my class by coming over here. So by doing this, we're going to have spacing that is uh, unique. The spacing, it gets... Uh, when you make the screen smaller, the spacing also is fluid, which means it's not a static um, size. It gets smaller with the screen size because it's based on clamp. So again, over here, I'm going to go in and say empty for margin top. This time I'm going to go with medium. 
So you can see my spacing here is really, really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. So at this point, you're probably asking, okay, so can I reuse this uh, item that we've just built? Well, absolutely. We can come over here. I'm gonna right click, save to library, and then let's give it a name. So we're gonna say loop, let's say loop zero one. We're gonna give it a category here. So I'm gonna say loops. Okay, great. So now we have this, I can save this to the library. So I showed you how to add this element using uh, the right click. So if you wanna get started here from scratch, you notice that there's a new item here, which is called elements. If you toggle it and click on add new row, you can start building by adding your elements that way. So let's start here with an image like that. And now you notice that we have elements here as well. So if I click here, I can add element. And this is pretty much how we can start uh, building our own item. And you notice now that everything here is also within uh, this complete uh, item that we're building, which is all our modules put together. So if I want to continue on, we are right now on the bar counter. I can just click on add elements. And this time, let's say we're adding some text. And you'll notice that everything is within the boundary of uh, this module that we started off with. And this module, we, this time we started off as an image. So I can go in here in this image. I can change it into a loop or I can come over here to the design. Uh, let's go to our border. And in this border, let's say we go with uh, six pixels. And we also need to add a border style. So this time we are going to set this to one. So now we have a border on our image here. But if we want to expand this and um, put all our designs in this main element, of course, we could go in here and, you know, add all the design elements we need. And this is one unit. So this feature here is really, really powerful. I can't believe that now we can create our own custom modules, which are based on um, whatever combination of modules that we choose. So if you haven't purchased Divi, this is one of those features that if you're on the borderline of deciding whether you should use Divi or not, this is fantastic. This is a really, really, really good way of designing websites and it's unique. I don't think there's any other page builders out there that has a, a very easy way of putting this together, especially if we can turn this into a loop. So go ahead, check it out. I want to also hear your thoughts. Have you tried it out? Uh, if you haven't, please go ahead, check it out and let me know what you think in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.